Hey, what's up, our YouTube Digital Soul here? Psh, how you doing? Um, I'm going to come at you guys tonight. I've been PM'd with a lot of different things that I should talk about in addressing the issue. Um, there's a few issues that I would like to cover myself, but I'm going to go over a few things real quick for you all, and I hope that you want to listen. And mind you, before I start any of this, I am no expert. These are just my views on the subjects. So please, if you want to stick around, listen. Cause I'll appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Alright. One more time. 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 Go! Issue one, there's children out there in the world that are having children, man. You know what I'm saying? You got teenage girls. There's a high percentage of teenage girls that are pregnant and having babies. Now, before I really get into that, I just want to let you know that everyone enjoys sex. I mean, who doesn't, right? I mean, it's procreation. That's why we're here. But um, you need to understand that there's a lot of things in life that you're going to be giving up just to have this hour, if you're lucky, of sex. Okay, you're going to be giving up sleep. You're going to be giving up your life. Okay, because once you have a child, for the next 16 to 18 to 20 years, if you're lucky, you're going to be living your life for that child because that's what a parent should do okay so if you like going out and partying or doing whatever it is that you like to do that's all gone if you like sleep it's gone man because you gotta take care of that child that child in the first year of its life is gonna be waking up through the course of the night needing you to aid it you know what I'm saying needs to eat diaper changed washed dressed bathed Padded to sleep. So much you need to do. Just think, if you want to go to the store, you can get up and you can go. But if you're a single parent at home, you got to pack that child up, get them ready to go. If it's cold outside, you got to dress them warm and you got to drag this child or children, if you have more than one, to the store with you. It's hard being a single parent in this world and it's even harder when you're young. Okay? Because you got to work to support your child or else you're going to be living off the system. And the system doesn't pay that well. And if you do get some sort of housing, it's never really going to be in a really nice neighborhood. So you're going to have to bring your children up somewhere where they can get hurt. I'm not saying everywhere is bad. But this is a reality that you need to understand. So if you are out there, please use protection, man. Birth control, condoms, whatever it is that you can find. Talk to someone about it. Ask your parents about it. Don't be embarrassed. Because they want what's best for you. Hell, they were children once too, you know what I'm saying? So look out for yourself. Because being a parent is no joke. It's so like you want to go to college and you have a child. You're going to have to have a job and try to go to college and take care of your child. If you're lucky, you'll have a family member that will help watch that child for you and help raise it. But most women should not be having babies until they're in their 20s because that's when their bodies are mainly developed to start having children so please if you're young and you're having sex protect yourself it's not a hundred percent safe but at least you're protecting yourself look into it it's more than just fun it's a responsibility because if you bring a child into this world you are responsible for it you will be giving up your life for that child that's what it is you're born, your parents raise you, you have a child, you raise that child, someday that child may have a child and then you could sit back and watch the good job you did on your child raising theirs. So please, think before you act. It's no joke. I love being a parent. I live my life for my child. I, I take away from my sleep to do what I'm doing here now because this is my hobby. 
but my son comes first. So please, I know I've said it, but please think before you act. All right? Issue two. Now, I'm not going to try to, try to label this on anyone, but it's known to be happening with a lot of people that are titled emo. I hate titling anybody because there's preps, jocks, nerds, headbangers, you know, whatever. There's a lot of people in this world. But people seem to want to hurt themselves. People get depressed in life, and there's something that's called cutting, okay, where they either cut themselves in their arms or their legs to release the pain because they say well if your hands hurting step on your toe take away the pain if you're hurting here cutting yourself isn't really fixing it you're just directing the pain somewhere else or if you get angry and you go over and you punch a wall you're hurting yourself there's other ways to deal with situations you'd be surprised what talking to someone can do for you when you're young in this world problems seem so much bigger than they actually are I'm not saying that there aren't some real problems out there that there aren't some things that people just can't deal with but that's what talking to people helps if you need to seek a counselor or your parents your parents are the number one people you could talk to and if you can't talk to your parents seek a counselor talk to a teacher talk to someone don't hurt yourself why would you want to take a knife or some kind of sharp object and scar your body everyone's beautiful man don't do that to yourself that's forever I know people that have cut themselves to even erase someone if someone's hurt you in life you cut yourself then you look at that scar and it reminds you that you forgot about that that you're over that but you could beat it here don't mutilate your body don't cut yourself please I know there's a lot of people out there in the world that do this sort of thing and I can't understand why the world isn't that bad a place it does seem like it's caving in on you and when problems do happen they tend to happen one after another it's like they say when it rains it pours but there's no reason to damage yourself as I said you're a beautiful person men women everyone look inside yourself if you don't have any friends you can find someone that is willing to talk to you you just have to take the time to go out and find that person you think that's hard it's harder to take that sharp object and stick it into your skin and drag it along that's hard don't do that to yourself please I'm begging you if you're a cutter stop now talk to someone because it can become an addiction I'm no expert on this subject but I know people that have done this and I've talked to them and I hope that they stop alright that's issue two I'm probably gonna go into that one some more because that's a serious serious issue okay so please stop doing it because I care Alright, those are the two issues that I touched on this evening. Um, I'm going to try to bring it up a note now. Bring it up a notch! Bam! Emerald. Um, the 101 with DirecTV contacted me. They sent me an email. Through an FTP server, I uploaded my information to them. So hopefully you guys will get to see me on the Fizz. Mr. Safety Corey. Head dog. Leader. Running it. That's the guy they're running with. And they're also running with some good karma people here at YouTube. So I've posted a link before, but I'm going to post another one up here for you. I'm going to post another one over here in the profile description. I'm going to put up Mr. Safety's link. I'm going to put up the 101 link. And you can watch their video. And at the very end of the video, they give you an email where you can contribute to them. Send them some information. If they like it, they'll use it. It's a chance to get yourself out there and get heard. Who doesn't want to be heard? That's why we're here on YouTube, right? That's all I got to say tonight. So I appreciate you guys watching because I'm always watching you. I appreciate all those PMs because I am going to be doing a shout out video for some people. I got a lot of PMs. I got a lot of stuff to watch. And I'm going to be promoting some people out there. I'm going to help pull them up. Pull them up to the next level. So hopefully some of you guys can see some of these people that we know nothing about. All right? 
So I'm going to end it. Like I said, this is Digital Soul. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. But you never have to because I'm easy to find, all right? And I'll see you guys when I see you. Peace. One more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. One more time.